The Evolution Championship Series, or EVO, is the biggest yearly fighting game tournament in the world and has positively impacted the fighting game community in so many ways. Each tournament has participants all around the world playing many different fighting games. Smash is one of these games, and it has brought many amazing plays and storylines to the event, most of the time. Bro, what is going on? What is this? I don't know. I was stalling for time. All right, man. Well, now I really understand why this is the last Evo. Uh oh, brother, this guy stinks! However, unlike previous years, Nintendo has decided to not include Smash in this year's Evo lineup. So let's talk about this dumpster fire of a situation. There are three major arguments in favor of Nintendo removing Smash. Sony now owns Evo, the allegations in the community, and Nintendo running their own circuit with Panda. These arguments have been made on many different forums, tweets, and were even brought up by ex-Nintendo employees Kid and Krista on their podcast. Evo is now owned by PlayStation. Right. One. Two. The whole uh, Smash fighting game community has had so, countless, a number of countless issues. scandals. And Nintendo is also trying to do its own thing with uh, Panda. Right. Right. As much as I love Kid and Krista for their work on Nintendo Minute, these points are poorly made excuses and frail at best. Let's start off with the easiest one. Sony now owns Evo. And sure, Nintendo and PlayStation may be competitors, but didn't Nintendo and Microsoft peer pressure and clown the shit out of Sony to include crossplay on the PS4, an online system that allows people to play games with each other on different consoles, something that is pro-consumer and good for the gaming community as a whole? Didn't Doug Bowser, the current COO of Nintendo of America, tweet at PlayStation to congratulate them on their launch of the PS5? Didn't your previous COO, Reggie fils go up on stage at the 2018 Game Awards with the CEO of Microsoft Gaming, Phil Spencer, and the previous CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment, Sean Layden, to tell the world that these console wars are insignificant and we should be more focused on uniting the gaming community as a whole? Yamanamadu. Like man, if you're all for the gaming community like you say you are, wouldn't you keep Smash at Evo? Hell, even a Sony service, Crunchyroll, is now on the Nintendo Switch, and so is MLB The Show, a game published by Sony. Nintendo, if Sony is your competitor, why are you allowing them to put their products on the Switch? And if you're all about benefiting the community, shouldn't Smash remain at Evo? But then again, what did I expect from a company that hates emulation but fails to provide good alternatives, takes down video game soundtracks on YouTube that they themselves barely, if at all, make it more accessible to listen to, and used to take money from creators who showed gameplay of their games with their terrible ass, disastrous partner program? What a shit show of a fucking corporation. This is the sound of a lottery machine. <laughs> the next argument is the allegations in the Smash community. If you didn't know, Back in July of 2020, many allegations were raised against many prominent Smash figures in the community. I'm not going to go into detail about them in this video, but what I am going to say is that the situation was not pretty. Many people were innocent, others' allegations were not insanely bad, and the rest were undoubtedly horrible. So I understand if Nintendo wants to stay away from the Smash community for a while, but not only did they organize their own invitational event with Panda Global, but other tournament events have still and are still being held with hundreds, sometimes thousands, of entrants. Note that these are all after the allegations. Low Tide, Riptide, Collision, Genesis, Colossal. These are all super major tournaments with insane amounts of entrants. Of course, not as much as Evo, but still a ton of competitors. I don't think that the allegations are a sufficient enough excuse to use when so many huge tournaments have been and are still going to be held. This argument is very flawed, as it debunks itself if you just look at other tournaments. I'm the GOAT. I'm the GOAT. <laughs> oh, oh. And finally, the last argument. The Smash Circuit Nintendo will organize with esports organization Panda. And sure, at face value, this might seem reasonable. But look, Nintendo is the richest company in Japan. I think they're more than capable of supporting Evo's prize pool. Especially when Smash Ultimate is currently the most sold fighting game of all time. Not to mention Capcom, the developer of the Street Fighter franchise, has also organized their own tournament called the Capcom Pro Tour for Street Fighter V. And V is also 
in the EVO lineup. I know recently, Capcom has had its own problems with tournament organization, but at the very least, they still allowed their game to be played at the biggest fighting game tournament in the world, while also hosting their own tournament. The only argument that I can see being made in favor of Nintendo without them looking bad or contradicting themselves would be the 2020 allegations of sexual misconduct against EVO co-founder Joey Quaylar. But even this argument can be debated, since Sony has since bought EVO, which led to new management, Quaylar has since left the company, and even after the allegations, nine of the biggest fighting games in the world have accepted to be on the EVO lineup. These are my thoughts on Smash not being at EVO. If there are things in the background at Nintendo that we just don't know about that are affecting the EVO situation, I can maybe understand why they did this. But if that's the case, this leads to a transparency issue. And you all know that we love companies with transparency issues. Nintendo, if you have good reasons as to why Smash is not at EVO this year, I want to hear them. Because the excuses the community uses to defend Nintendo are very flawed and quite brittle when you think more critically. Regardless, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care of yourselves, and I hope you guys have a damn good one. And you brain-dead Nintendo fans can suck my fucking dick!